Hi, my name is Jim Stavros and you're watching Trading in Two. Today I'm going to show you linear regression. Normally with linear regression we have to use a pointer tool in CQG. If I want to draw the linear regression from the start of the day, I would go to the starting point of the day, left click, and I would draw my linear regression line to the end of the day, and left click again to lock it in. It's a great tool. It gives you the straightest line through all the closes for the day. Now the problem with this thing is it doesn't give you any historical perspective. It's just going to open as wide from the starting point as to where it is right now. So I don't want it to do that. I want to look historically and see how it did so I can make some value-based judgment if this is a valid tool. So I've drawn with the moving linear regression tool. I've drawn the line so it can dynamically update and I dynamically update the standard deviations as well. I'm going to remove the pointer tool. Now what I do is I open up a 5, a 10, and a 15 minute chart. On the 15 minute chart I, try, I prefer to keep a 3 day linear regression running. On the 10 minute chart a 2 day linear regression running. And finally on the 5 minute chart I keep a 1 day linear regression. I'm always going to make decisions from the 1 day chart because that's today's in information. And so if I'm going to draw a trend line on the chart the only opportunity that really came in comes in right here, which is actually during the night session from 250 to about 320. That bumped up against the top line of today's linear regression, and then the market moved lower. But was that a good sale? I got to confirm it on my long term chart, so come down here to this part. And let's take a look over here, and we can see that once the market moved below the linear regression line on the three day which was on the 27th at about 4.15 in the morning it stayed bearish and is still bearish today. On the secondary chart we did move into an intermediate bullish mode here but as you can see as it bumped up against its first standard deviation line that confirmed on the top chart right there that this was a great sale. So I could have taken this sale here based on the confirmation from the intermediate and the long term chart says yes definitely you're in the bearish mode. Hopefully this will keep you on the right side of the trade. My name is Jim Stavros. If you have any questions 1-800-525-1085 I'll be happy to send this to you or explain it further. In the meantime have a great trading day.